Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verdes City Manager R. Moranian with an update from the February 20th City Council meeting. The RPV City Council is calling on California Governor Gavin Newsom to declare a state of emergency in response to accelerated movement in the landslide complex that continues to wreak havoc in the city. The council voted to send a letter requesting the governor waive some state requirements to expedite the proposed long-term Portuguese Bend landslide remediation project, which remains in the environmental review stage. The council directed staff to proceed with completing the project's final engineering and final environmental impact report for consideration in May. The unprecedented land movement and record rainfall has damaged homes, roads, utilities, and has resulted in the temporary closure of eight miles of trails and the historic Wayfarers Chapel. The ongoing crisis and local emergency in the landslide complex continues to be the top priority of the city council, staff, government partners, and the community. In other council news, the City Council approved upgrading the Peninsula's automated license plate recognition camera system known as ALPRs. The cameras have been instrumental in crime suppression and protecting residents. In an effort to enhance public safety, the Council approved moving forward with a pilot program creating the City's new Public Safety Division. The Division would collaborate with the Sheriff's Department and use in-house public safety liaisons to supplement services provided by the Lomita Sheriff's Station. Moving on to ceremonial matters, the RPV City Council paid tribute to former Rancho Palos Verdes Mayor and Councilwoman Ann Shaw, who announced she's moving to Massachusetts after living in the city for more than 60 years. In 1977, Ann Shaw was elected to RPV's second City Council and was instrumental in the city's founding. She served as Peninsula Seniors President for decades and volunteered for countless causes. Former Mayor says RPV will always be her home. She will be missed and can't be thanked enough for making RPV a better place. And a big thank you to the organizers of the first annual Run for Miles who presented the City Council with a big $35,000 check for RPV's Parks and Trails. The money was raised during the inaugural community run and walk that took place last September for the city's 50th anniversary. The event honored the late Miles Helm who was an avid runner and loved RPV. The second annual run for miles will take place on September 28th, so mark your calendars. For more details on events and issues in the city, watch the February 20th council meeting on RPV TV or on the city's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember we are RPV together.